In this lesson, we're going to talk more about the order of operations. And if you're following me on algebraclass.com, then you'll know that this is the second of the order of operations lessons. And we're going to be talking about grouping symbols in this series of lessons. So for this particular lesson, we're going to ta be talking about nested parentheses. That means that we have a set of parentheses within a set of parentheses. So if you take a look at this example, notice that we have our large set of parentheses here, and inside there we have another set of parentheses with an expression contained. So when this happens, you might say to yourself, well, I know that if I'm using PEMDAS, I need to evaluate parentheses first. And you're right, we do. And so you might say, well, which set of parentheses do I do first? Well, we always start on the innermost set of parentheses and work our way out. So for this particular example, I'm going to start with my innermost parentheses, which is 28 plus 8, and I'm going to evaluate that as 36. And then I'm going to bring down the rest of the problem. So I'm going to keep this inside of parentheses for now. This parentheses only indicates that I'm multiplying because I have that one half beside it. So I have divided by 6 out here, and then I still have my large set of parentheses. So I'm bringing down everything exactly as it's written in the problem. So now I really only have one set of parentheses left because then, again, this just um, tells us that we're multiplying. There's no problem inside of this set of parentheses. So now I need to work inside of my larger set of parentheses. And inside of the larger set of parentheses, I have to continue following the order of operations. So I need to ask myself, do I have another set of parentheses? No. Do I have exponents? No. Do I have multiplication? Yes. So 1 half times 36 is 18. And then again, bring down the rest of the problem. I know that you may not like this step of bringing down the rest of the problem, but it does help you to not make mistakes and helps you to end up with the right answer. So I still have that large set of parentheses. I'm not completely finished. The only thing inside now is subtraction, so I need to do that first because, again, I'm still on this first step here of parentheses. So 30 minus 18 is 12. And then again, bring down the rest of the problem. Now I can take that 12 out because now I'm completely done with the set of parentheses. So parentheses are now finished. As I look at my new expression here, I don't have any exponents. Now it's multiplication or division, whichever comes first. I don't have multiplication, but I do have division. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then as I bring down the rest, I have 78 plus 2, which is 80. So the final answer is 80. So again, this example was to demonstrate what happens when you have a set of parentheses nested within another set of parentheses. And again, you always work from the inside out in this situation and make sure that you get rid of all the parentheses before you continue moving on using PEMDAS.